Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Novice Way. I'm Jason and today we're going to be installing the Dream Baby Safety Latch for cabinets and drawers. Uh, I have previously installed these in some of my cabinets and drawers, but my son's gotten so big that he's able to reach the higher drawers, so I need to install some new ones. Now these things are pretty easy to install, and once installed, they allow you to um, stop the opening of these cabinets, and you actually have to press down on this latch in order for it to open. Now the pack comes with 12 safety latches, and each safety latch consists of these six pieces. There's the four screws, which are pretty self-explanatory, and there's the hook and the catch. So essentially we're going to be installing this into the wood cabinets. We're going to want to drill pilot holes for these so there's no chance that the wood will split. Now to drill the holes I have my trusty DeWalt corded drill. Again, it doesn't matter what type of drill you use, but it doesn't matter the bit. Now you want a wood bit that's slightly smaller than the screws. You can line up the bit to see the screw. And if you can see the screw on either side, or at least the threading on either side, then you know that's a good bit to use for a pilot. The first drawer I'm going to install is going to be my silverware drawer. That's a drawer I definitely don't want my son getting into. It has knives and sharp metal, not good for him. With the silverware out, I'm gonna line the hook up on the edge of the drawer. It's gonna to have to go slightly lower because I need to place it somewhere where it's gonna have a clearance in the cabinet. You see how that is? Now you want that hook to, to be right underneath the clearance and that way when you install the catch the hook will catch onto that catch so that's a really good spot for it so i'm going to take my sharpie and i'm going to mark where the hole should be for this hook all right with the holes marked it's time for drilling now as you can see those holes aren't exactly level and that's okay because this hook comes with slatted holes so all they need to be is somewhere in there in order for it to work and then you can level it out by hand so let's get the drill. Just take the drill and push it, put it right to those holes and slowly pull the trigger to get it to turn. Now it's best to start off really slow and that way your drill bit doesn't skip across the wood. But once you have the hole drilled a little bit, you can really get it up to speed and push it on in there. Now you don't want to drill too much. Sometimes you can install a stop or you can put a piece of tape on the drill bit to see where you should be stopping. I'm just gonna eyeball it for this project. There we go, just a little bit of a hole. So, I, so the screw knows where to go. Next we're gonna take two of these screws that come with the latch and screw the hook in. All right, now that it's screwed in, I'm going to make sure that it's the right height just by simply closing the door. And it looks like it's right where it's supposed to be. It's just coming right to the top of that, but not touching. And now I'm gonna install the latch right underneath the cabinet here. To know where that catch should be, I'm going to take a Sharpie again and just mark a spot real close here, just nice and fine. Okay, that's my center. And that way when I take the drawer out, I'll know exactly where to put that latch. With the drawer out, I'm going to take the catch and put it where it's supposed to be, and then mark where I want to drill with the Sharpie. Alright, time to drill. Now that the holes are drilled, I'm going to take my wood screws and screw the catch in. All right, don't forget to make it nice and straight before you tighten it. And voila, we have a drawer that won't open. And close it, try to open it, won't open. You have to reach in, press down, open it up. So I'm gonna put my silverware back in and we're done. All right, not only have I installed one in this drawer, but I installed one in this drawer as well as this drawer, and this drawer. And it took me a couple minutes each. Uh, one thing I would do different if I had to do it again was uh, before I was using a Sharpie, you can't really tell, but there's a tiny little dot there. Um, let's see if I can see this one a little better. So you can see the little black mark above the where I put in the stop. 
Um, that's not coming off. <laughs> so I'd probably use a pencil or something that could wipe off a bit easier. Um, other than that, real easy to install. Highly recommend these. We, me and my wife have been using them for a couple months now. And uh, on the on the more important cabinets, which are these right here and where the, the pots are. This cabinet especially, because there's not a whole lot of support, it, uh, it vibrates when he pulls on them. And that's the cabinet, it's not really the, the latch. But he really tears into this and they never have failed. So I uh, really high, highly recommend this product. All right, thanks for joining me. I sure hope this was helpful. Uh, one of the issues you might have is getting the drawer out of the cabinet. Now my drawers are pretty easy, they just pull out. Well, once I press this down, they just pull out and there's latches on either side that just press down and pull out the, cab the drawer. So um, these are really easy. These are probably the easiest I've seen in quite some time. Um, there's a million different ways to put these in. So your drawers might be different. I recommend consulting uh, whoever installed your kitchen if you can, or maybe a friend if you can't get them out, just, uh, just let someone know that might be a little handy and they'll be able to get those out for you. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you back soon.